Best-selling author John Grisham is here to talk about his new legal thriller. The writer has published 37 books in 33 years. Wow. Most drawn his own experience in the courtroom as a lawyer in Mississippi. His latest, The Judge's List, is no different. It's his second book to feature Lacey Stoltz. Let me get my movie voice on. <clears throat> in a world where a lawyer investigating complaints against a judge, things take a turn for the worse when the anonymous source accuses a sitting judge of being a serial killer. I'm glad you went all the way with that. It is good. Yeah. John Grissom joins Own us it. right now. Good morning, Own John. It. Happy to be here. So uh, the wife and I were supposed to start a new show this weekend. I opened page one, and I haven't put it down since. It is <laughs> incredible. Wow. Um, you're, this is the second book on Lacey, who is a complicated character. What made you revisit this character? I have a crush on her. Uh, I, I created her six years ago in The Whistler. And by the time I finished that book, I really liked her uh, as a person, as a lawyer. You know, she's a pretty cool character. And I knew I would go back for at least one more. I rarely do that. I, normally, when I'm, you know, I finish a book, the most of the characters are, are dead, so uh, I can't use them again. Uh, but I've gone back, you know, with Jake Brigance and A Time to Kill three times now. Last year was A Time for Mercy. But normally when I finish a character, I'm done with them. Uh, but I really like Lacey, and I thought I could do one more story. Yeah, but this is about a serial killer, so, uh, a subject that you've never taken on before, and it got me wondering and worrying about your mental state. Yeah. Because there's so, it's so detailed how this guy works. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How did you research this, John? Because it's very chilling. And I have to say, I was reading the book. I got afraid to turn the page because I was afraid how it was going to end. Yeah. And I was worried that you would end it in a way. I'm not going to give it Don't away. Don't spoil the end. I'm not. I'm, I'm, definitely, I'm definitely not. <laughs> but it was, it was very tough because clearly this character doesn't mind killing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what did, how did you research it? And you should know, we be worried about you, John Grisham? No, don't worry. Uh, I've never <laughs> killed anybody. I have no list, Gail. I, I'm not keeping a list. Like um, the, the idea of a serial killer is always fascinating. We have a, we have a fascination with crime in this country. And yeah. most of the books I yep. deal with, I've written, uh, crime is, um, is there. Whether it's wrongful convictions or death penalty or whatever, those are the issues I like to write about. Um, there's always a, you know, a serious crime involved. So I kind of live in that world. What was it like planning his crimes? Is it fun for you to uh, think, just think well, Just ways? think about it. If you're a sociopath, it's hard, hard to think like one. Uh -huh. um, all the people who have wronged you in your life. Yeah. Think about the people you really, you still carry a grudge. I have a couple. I have a couple. We all have a couple, okay? They show uh, remain nameless. Don't want to kill them, but, you know, it'd be fun to watch Yeah, I don't want to kill. Yeah. <laughs> so you take it one step further, and <laughs> this guy's a, you know, a serious char a, a, a character, and he wants, he wants to get revenge. And so yeah. he does. We, does. we do have a fascination with crime in yes. this country. Uh, we also are obsessed with justice. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes it seems like when justice is miscarried, we're so fixated on it that we don't correct the issue. You're involved with the Innocence Project, wrongfully accused and convicted people. How has that work impacted your work as a legal writer, legal thriller writer? Uh, tremendously. It, it began to change 15 years ago when I did a book called The Innocent Man, which is my only nonfiction book. That book took me into the world of wrongful convictions, and I, I'm still there. Because every wrongful conviction is a, fa a fantastic story. Some because people don't believe in wrongful convictions. They think, you know, that the people are there for a reason. But Justice you know that there are, many, there are many innocent people. Yeah. There are tens of thousands of innocent people in prison. Yeah. Okay? Most people don't believe that. Most white people don't believe that. Mm. Black people know it. They yes. live, they've seen it, okay? That's true. Mm. And racism is a huge factor in, all, in almost all wrongful convictions. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm on the board of the Innocence Project. We had 375 DNA exonerations in the past 25 years. 70% involved men of color, okay? Mm. And so it's- 75, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's a huge factor. But there, there, there are thousands of innocent people in prison. At the Innocence Project, uh, we litigate, you know, in all 50 states trying to get our clients out. And we, you know, we're successful, but it's very hard work. Mm. We have to get going, but real quick, do you miss practicing law? Never. Practice law? For never, never, never. Nobody misses it. That was quick. <laughs> that was Nobody. quick. <laughs> no, I did, I did it. real quick, and he said I never. Did it, I did it for 10 years in a small town in Mississippi, and, you know, it was, it was uh, enjoyable to a point. I got the bug to write, though, about halfway through that well, career. Please keep the bug going. <laughs> uh, the bug is going. I don't know if this you've is, seen all these back here. This is really I'm under good. contract. I have to write it. It's really, really, really good. And I'm not just saying that because you're here. It is. We thank you. Yeah. The judge's list, here it is. Thank you. Is on sale today. I'm holding up the book, guys. <laughs>
They don't show <laughs> there it. It's Judges, on the book. Oh, there it is. It's on sale today wherever you like to buy your books. You've got lots of options. John Grisham, we thank you again, and we'll be right back. Always fun, guys. Always. <laughs> thank you.